This is my latest project that I was working on. Uh, I decided that I wanted to consolidate the room that my DVD shelves took up. I had two DVD shelves and they were just jam-packed full of materials. So I thought, well, it'd be nice if I had a rotating DVD shelf. Apparently I'm not the first one to think of that though, so when I searched online for rotating DVD shelf, I came up with uh, a couple of results. And basically, uh, I didn't feel like paying $250 for a rotating DVD shelf. I figured I could do it myself much cheaper. So I stole their specifications for sizes and used the DVDs that they had on their shelf pictures as a, a scale of reference in order to construct my own DVD shelf. Um, cost about $100, $120 in materials. Um, if I would have realized, however, it was going to take 65 hours of labor, uh, it wouldn't have happened. A uh, comedy of errors, a lot of things went wrong, but in the end, it came up with a functioning product. All of our DVDs from all of our shelves fit on here, and there's a little bit of room to grow, but at least you can see them all now. Um, the, the only hiccup is uh, the Lazy Susan I got underneath there is like 12 inches, and it's got a 24 inch base, so it has a little bit of a wobble to it. I have some uh, nylon feetsies on there, so it doesn't wobble so much but it's a little bit of a hard turn every once in a while. The Lazy Susan though has a capacity of a thousand pounds, so even though there's a little bit of a wobble to it, I don't think it affects anything. But other than that, yeah. we'll get a look at the bottom of it now, which isn't much to look at. So it's just a squared off bottom, kind of cut the edges off a little bit. Uh, my usual uh, trend lately is to build something without any screws so there's no screws in it. It's held together pretty much with all just doll rods and glue. Which, which is kind of fun to figure out the best way to do that. I mean you can see there's another doll rod back there. Uh, the shelves are just brass pegs. You know, everything's pine. So. The huge part of this project, the part that didn't turn out the best, basically was uh, oh, these corners right here. Uh, originally I was going to do these as like a, a miter 90 degree, but I was freehanding them and they weren't turning out. There was too much of a gap here and here, so you'd see darkness through here or you'd see the back of the DVDs. So what I ended up doing was going in and uh, basically notching down one side here you can barely see it and then that's the only edge of this one you see and then the other one butts up against it so this was all routered like that uh, we're holding off on staining it until we figure out what kind of entertainment stand we want that way I can make everything match so that's it pretty cool holds I think I figured 370 DVDs roughly uh, we got our video games on one side, movies on another side. Here's all the video games. Well, all the current system, current generation video games, and then there's all of our Blu-rays and DVDs, so. Pretty cool. I like that I get to save some room on it. But if I would have realized it, it was going to take that long, I would have just bought the thing.